What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. So, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, I'll give you my opinion. And, uh, well, like I said, it's only my opinion. So, I was looking in the Uber Freight. Now, I'm not even in the dry van reefer industry anymore. I pull a flatbed. But, I see people um, saying, oh, Uber Freight is good, or ooh, Uber Freight is bad, or ooh, Uber Freight is just okay, but... Um, like I, I like looking at facts, right? So what I did was, is now you can do this too. I'm not going to do a screenshot or anything like that because honestly, I don't know how. I'm not technology advanced, technology, technological. I don't know what I'm doing. So what I did was, you know, I watched a little video, a little video intro video, and the screenshot that they have. Of that with the app with the two cities on there was from Albuquerque, New Mexico to uh, Pismo Beach, California, and it was paying sixteen hundred dollars. Uh, I plugged this in, I just previously plugged this in before I started the video. It is approximately let's say 950 miles. Uh, the one estimate is 926 according to Google Maps. The um, other uh the other one is 992 uh 992 miles and it is paying 1600 so i did the math real quick that's a dollar at 950 miles i took the two you know so put it right in the middle so you're 950 miles right so that comes out to a dollar 68 a mile is that good or not so not sure so I'm looking at that. I'm like, wow, they actually put that up as the intro video. So, what they're I'm gonna. This is just me. I'm 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 out there. I'm totally out there. I'm going right. So if they're putting that out there, they're conditioning people's minds to saying, okay, well, oh, here's this Uber company. Oh, it's a great company. Oh, look. They're giving the dollar sixty-eight a mile. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and get that. They're conditioning your mind to say, okay, a dollar sixty-eight a mile is maybe a good rate. I mean, because they put that out there, you know, as their intro video. Obviously, you would think, you know, they would put something that's over. I would say at least over two and a quarter, you know, as their intro video. Um, but hey, that's just I'm just you know I'm saying. So I think they're conditioning your mind. Okay, now mind you, now this is the winter time and everything like that. I think when they this app launched, um, so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But eventually, I will say this um, all third party platforms, you know, they start acting the same. Like, for instance, um, okay, when Uber first came out, everybody signed up, not everybody, but, you know, people saw, oh, man, yeah, I can, you know, become an independent contractor and run, you know, uh, people around, all around town and everything like that, and, you know, I can make some money. Okay, no big deal. At what happened? After time, the pay started getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower, and now, oh, um, your car is too old. Now you got to, in certain markets, oh, now you got to buy, you know, a car that's, you know, only, I don't know, five years old or six years old or something like that. Okay. So, so where's your, I mean, just following that thought process, where's, where's the profit at? Okay. Now I signed up for Uber and, uh, this was a couple months ago. I signed up for Uber, my, my vehicle qualified so i signed up so i just let me give it a little test drive so i worked for three hours that was yeah i worked for three hours right and i grossed i think it was it came out to about ten dollars an hour using my own vehicle uh using my gas and everything else um and i didn't run all over all over the place you know i would drop one off, drive, you know, a couple miles, pick somebody else up, and kind of like in the truck, you know, you can, same thing, you know, except instead of hauling freight, you're hauling people, uh, but it was the same thing, and I'm like, if Uber does the same thing that they did on their consumer side, as far as, you know, their 
taxi cab service are they going to do this to the trucking side then i'm i'm you know hmm nope and like all 30 all third party platforms you know they all start behaving look at people that sell on amazon right um they're good oh yeah yeah you can ship the product to amazon and you know they'll store it for you and everything else like that and all what happens fees start going up and you know the 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 profits are getting smaller and smaller and smaller right so this is just my you know i'm like i said i'm out there so i was looking at other um you can do this too you know find make sure hey make sure i'm telling the truth maybe make your own video um and i have not watched any other people else anybody else's video on uber freight um not for this type of research i was just you know i see the title but i never clicked on it i want to do my own independent research and then i'll see what you know other people have to say first um here is uh houston texas to san antonio texas 700 miles i mean 700 dollars on 300 i can't see that's real small looks like 304 miles i don't know if that's a good deal or not um depending on what your cost. Now, I want to say this too. Now, let's say that you're leased to a company and this company is pulls Uber Freight. And just going by that figure, that first figure alone, it was uh, came about the dollar sixty-eight a mile. And let's say that you take out your, uh, you give your lease to a company, they take out, let's say 25%, okay? What, what does that leave you per mile now? It's probably around a dollar twenty, somewhere between a dollar twenty, dollar thirty range. Okay, right. So for you, is that a good deal? Now you need to know how much it costs to run your truck per mile. Now per mile is just a per mile is just a a segment you know i mean there's more to it than that but you know we we base numbers on miles on mileage so so is a dollar 20 let's say just give them the benefit of the doubt dollar 30 is that is are you profitable at that number you know running per mile you need to know the cost of your truck you know that's what I, all i'm trying to emphasize um uh let's look at another one here i'm running on eight minutes now um Uh, hopefully the video doesn't shut off. Who is this one? Same one, San Antonio to Houston. Um, that's the same one. And I didn't find it yet. I didn't find it. I was kind of like looking at this the other day. The same one that I've talked about, they actually showed a screenshot of that. Uh, it was Albuquerque, New Mexico going to Pismo, California, Pismo Beach, California. And they said it was like 700 miles or something like that. Um, but the informed trucker is going to plug that number in to see what the actual miles is. And it was like 900 is off 200. And I just did a video about this, about brokers putting out uh, incorrect information with the mileage off. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just trying to help y'all. Go over, sign up for Patreon, man. We're going to be dropping more videos like this to uh, expose the trucking industry. All right, we're at nine minutes. I'll see you on the next one.